Hello! I am sitting in my car getting ready to go in and um, to teach at the academy where I teach evangelism. It's a Bible college through my church. I love it. Um, and I just had this thing in my spirit. I wanted to give you a truth dagger today. Um, 1 John 4.4 4 says that greater is he that's living in me than he that's living in the world. And that's your truth dagger for today. Greater is he that's living in you than he that's living in the world. Romans 8 also talks about, um, and other places in Romans, about the fact that this, the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead is the same spirit that's at work in you and I. And one of the things that I'm going to be talking to my students about today is just the idea that we are the dominant spirit. If the spirit of the risen Christ is within you, greater is he that's living in you than he that's living in the world. Good morning, Bethany, or good evening for you, I think. Um, and so, like, I, I have been coming up against situations that feel um, intimidating. Have you ever walked into a room and you just feel this sense of intimidation or you're around somebody and you just feel like this sense of intimidation and it's a spirit and it's, you know it's not the person. There's just something going on. I feel like we're coming into a season. I'm getting prophetic now. I feel like we're coming into a season where as we know who we are, I love how Kenneth Hagin says it, when you get it down deep inside of you. Like continue to continue to meditate and marinate in these scriptures. Continue continue to like use it as a truth dagger, but study it. Get it in you. Get the word inside of you. And the more that you marinate in it, and the more that it becomes a reality deep inside of you, something's going to shift, and you're going to realize. Wait a second. I'm the dominant spirit in this situation. I'll give you an example. I was at a shopping center recently. And um, I made eye contact with a man who, um, it, was a, it was just an interesting, I could tell there was something a bit off about him. We made eye contact and as we got closer to one another, uh, typically if it's a male that feels intimidating, I will look away. And the Lord said, keep your eyes on him because you have a dominant spirit. And so I knew that there was something spiritual that was happening. The closer that he came to me, um, and the closer I came to him, I kept my eyes locked on him and he started praying or like yelling at me in some strange tongue. Now it was not like, I had never heard anything. It gave me like chills, like the hair stood up on the end of my arms kind of feeling. And I could have done any number of things. We're in a shopping center, a crowd is drunk, people are staring at us. And I just, something rose up within me because I've been marinating on this thing that actually there's a power inside of me that's greater than anything else that's happening around me. And I didn't have to be afraid or, or have intimidation. Of course, I'd be wise if I was alone. I might do something different, but I was following what the Holy Spirit's been speaking to me. And I looked him straight in the eyes and I just started back at him shaka da da but i just started going back at him in tongues and every so often i would speak out the name of jesus the name of jesus and after a while um it was like this great showdown in the shopping center and we're drawing a crowd and the guy actually looked down and and took off and everyone's looking at me to check on me that i'm okay and i'm like hey jesus King Jesus, the opportunity to share my faith right then and there. But the point I want to make to you is that right now, man, if you can get this, if you can get this revelation, the greater is he that's living in you than he that's in the world. The beginning of the scripture, he refers to us as little children. Man, we have faith like children. We're children of the most high God, which means our daddy has our back. I had a wonderful, I have a wonderful heavenly, fa he or, sorry, earthly father. And, you know, I, I always felt safe with my dad around. Like, you know, I knew he was looking after me. I knew he had me, ba had my back. How much more with our heavenly father? We are his children. And greater is he that's living in me than he that's living in the world. I don't have to be intimidated by anything that comes my way. I don't have to feel afraid of anything that comes my way. Because of Jesus in me, I carry the dominant spirit.
So I want to empower you today. If you are coming up against a spirit of intimidation, if you're dealing with fear, if you're dealing with anything that just feels like, oh, like it's pushing against you and it wants to hold you back and it wants to make you shrink back, greater is he that's living in you than greater than he that's in the world. And you know that you have the dominant spirit because you have the risen Christ within you. So be blessed with that today. And as Kenneth Hagin says, get it into you. Get it into you. Meditate on it. Think on it. Do it. Study it. Rip it apart in the Greek. Whatever you have to do to get that goodness inside of you so that you know that you know that you know that it is a conviction that what's inside of you is greater than any intimidation that you may be coming up against. Be blessed, guys.